Have you ever tried to export your Unreal Engine camera to Foundry Nuke? If yes, you have likely encountered challenges with your camera's coordinates. Well, in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate a quick solution to seamlessly incorporate your camera animation smoothly with the rest of your script inside Foundry Nuke. Let's get started. Here I am inside Unreal Engine. I positioned my camera with the fly through through this corridor. The idea is to render only a single frame in Unreal Engine, extract the camera out as FBX so you can bring it into Nuke and integrate it with the rest of your script. Well, the first step is to extract the camera. And that part is very simple. You select your camera in your level sequencer, right click and go export. I'm going to call that UE underscore cam FBX save export. Well, that part was easy. Now, remember that you need to have a camera animation. That's the whole point behind this tutorial. So if I go in there, you can see I've got a relatively fast moving camera. Now let's open Nuke and investigate why this simple method simply is not enough. Here I am inside Foundry Nuke. For the sake of demonstration, I came up with a very simple setup. Our render goes to a card and then goes to a scene and scan line renderer so we can use the camera pipe, bring the camera that we exported and view the scene. All right, let's get to it and see what kind of problem is waiting for us. The camera is created. I'm going to go into read from file, browse, select UE cam that we just exported and we should be good to go. Just before I do that, I am going to very quickly rename this. I'm just going to put a label in there, increase the font so it's much easier to see. All right, if I put the cam in there and view the scan line render, we're not seeing anything. And that is the problem because the coordinates in Unreal Engine and Foundry Nuke are very different. And that's exactly why we have this tutorial and that's what we're going to fix. If I double click on the camera, hover my mouse over the viewer and press tab, to find our camera, you can see it's facing upwards. So there's no way that you can get that one working right off the bat. Now you would be surprised how simple it is to fix this. I'm going to start by duplicating it, control C, control V, and I'm going to rename that Nuke. So the first one is Unreal. And the second one is Nuke. And I limited my property bin number to two so I can see them side by side. I'm going to go to camera here and I'm going to go to camera there. Turn off read from file on both of them so we can manipulate the values. It's basically a three step process. You go to your Nuke camera in rotation, right click and go set to default. First things first, we do not want to have any values on our Nuke camera because we are going to bring them from Unreal camera. But this time we're going to pay attention to what coordinate in Unreal matches the same coordinate in Foundry Nuke. Starting from X, I'm going to hold down control to copy the value from one to another left mouse hold drag and drop. So holding down control from X, I'm going to drag and drop it into Z. Then hold down control Y, drag and drop it into X. Last one, hold down control Z in Unreal, 
goes into Y in Nuke. You can see already the camera is sort of changing direction dramatically, but it's still not correct. That was the second step. We still have one more to go. The issue with these values, while the coordinates are matching, the values are flipped. And while you can manipulate that inside this window right here, there's an easier way of doing that by right clicking edit expression. All I need to do is to flip these values with X. I'm going to put a minus before the entire expression for Y. I'm going to put minus 90 and for Z minus 90 and OK. Now you can see if I go in here, the orange is the nuke one and the Y is Unreal Engine. You can see how different they are. They move together, but nuke's camera is faced correctly. If I press tab and now plug the nuke to camera this time and view it through scanline renderer, you can see I can successfully see the correct result. That was it. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next one, see you guys later.